Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this super cute pug plush out of a pair of socks. This uses the same basic technique as a traditional sock monkey and is really simple to make. If you'd like to find out how to make your own, just keep watching. To make your sock pug, you'll need a pair of socks, black bells, thread in coordinating colours, safety eyes, basic sewing supplies such as scissors, pins and needles and a sewing machine, as well as some stuffing. Start by putting something inside the sock to see how the end looks when it's stuffed. This can be your hands, or stuffing, or anything you have lying around. I used another pair of socks. This will give you an idea of the space that the face will occupy. Cut two muzzle shaped pieces from the black felt. Make one ever so slightly smaller than the other, and cut another triangular piece out of the bottom to make it look more like a muzzle. Finally, cut another tiny rounded triangular shape for a nose. Use a black thread to stitch the smaller muzzle piece to the larger one, and to add squishy face details. While stitching these face details, stitch on the nose piece. Next, cut two extended half circle shapes that are just larger than your safety eyes. Make the holes for the eyes in the center, and ensure that the stems of the safety eyes fit. Stitch the bottom of these to the back of the muzzle, and set this face piece aside for now. Using the felt face piece as a reference against the face area, decide where you'll need to add wrinkles to the face. Stitch a few wrinkles between the eyes, being very careful not to catch whatever is keeping your sock face area stuffed for now in your stitches, as you'll need to take this out. Stitching these mid-face wrinkles before attaching the felt muzzle piece means that these wrinkles won't affect the space that the muzzle will be stitched onto. I also pinned the face on and stitched some extra wrinkles around the eyes. After removing whatever you've used to temporarily stuff the face, use a simple backstitch with black cotton to stitch the muzzle onto the face area. Ensure that your pug's butt, which is the heel of the sock, is facing upwards, and the opening of the sock, which will become your pug's legs, is facing downwards. Otherwise, you could end up with a very upside down pug. Once you've stitched down the muzzle, make holes through the sock to match those in the felt eye area, and insert the safety eyes, adding the backs to the other side of the sock. After completing the face, turn the whole sock inside out. Lie the sock flat so that the heel is lying flat against the top of the sock. Use a pen to mark out two short leg shapes with a gap of about one centimeter or less between them. These should end just below the heel begins, as the heel of the sock will form your pug's butt. Using a sewing machine, or stitching by hand if you'd prefer, sew along these leg shapes. Do not sew the gap between them. Once you've sewn along these lines, cut away the excess fabric around the seams. There should now be a gap between the two legs. Turn the pug right side out through the hole between the legs. Next, stuff the pug with some stuffing and keep going until it's as firm as you'd like.
When the pug is suitably stuffed, stitch the stuffing hole closed. Using the other sock of your pair, draw two more legs just as you did before. Sew them and cut away the excess fabric again, but this time cut along the top too. This should leave you with two completely detached legs. Stuff these and then stitch them onto the pug's body. To avoid the raw edge of the sock showing, insert your needle just above the raw edge for each stitch, turning it inside the leg as you sew it. Next, cut a small strip from the raw edge of the spare sock. The raw edge will be curled, so cut a piece of this curled fabric and stitch it together in a little cinnamon bun shape. Next, stitch this to your pug's butt as a tail. Cut two little weird triangular pieces of black felt for ears and stitch them onto the top of your pug's head. And now your pug is complete.